Did you just turn us on? Are we live? Yeah, you're We're live. We're live coming in. We're live coming into you live. What's up, my people? What are you going to say all day today? Bam! Bam! Here we go. <laughs> We've got a good show for you today. Getting everything set up here behind the scenes. You caught us in the very act of getting everything set up here. So uh, we're going to continue to do that. You know what you need to do. And I'm going to tell you in a little bit why I know that they know what to do. That's right. But we want you to like and share our video. Get that out there. We're trying to get a huge job. We've already got a huge audience. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to blow this thing out of the water today. So like and share our video. We have lots of good information. Right. A whole lot of good information. You're not going to want to miss what we've got for you today. So like and share our video. We got a real fun poll question, by the way. Yeah. We want everyone to make sure that you, because we've got a debate going about this. So we need your help to help us solve this dilemma that we have. So our poll question is going today. We're going to get your help with that. A lot of good information. A lot of things we're going to be sharing with you. So we're going to get everything wind up here, wound up here, ready to go. You be liking and sharing our video out on Facebook. We're going to hit this thing and do the intro, and we'll be back right on the other side of it for episode show number I'm out of hand. 11. You're going to take <laughs> your shoes fingers, off. Yeah. Show number 11. We're coming back right after this right here. Like and share our video. Here we go. 11. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. I'm Mike Elkins, your host. This is my co-host, Dave Elkins, bringing you some good info today. We want to first thank you all for tuning in to our show today, episode number 11. Bam! November the 1st. <laughs> you know? Bam! So we're having all kinds of fun today. You'll figure out what I'm saying. Bam. Yeah, you, you, you'll, you'll hear all of that, see all that today. But again, just in case you're new with us, we had a lot of people that have been watching us that's new. And I've been forgetting to tell people what we're doing, so they right. may not know. But you're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Here's what we do on the show. We act like a fool. Right? Exactly. We talk about real estate. We give stuff away. We talk about motivation. We talk about things happening in the area, local Lakeway area happenings. Um, so we are just do all kinds of stuff. We give them stuff away. We ask for you to, to participate. We have poll questions, all that good stuff. But most of all, we thank you for tuning in today, watching this show. We won't talk to you too much today. We're going to give you some good info, but we want to also have a lot of fun too um, today. So here we're, here's what we're going to ask you to do today to get some fun going. First of all, let me ask you, because I saw some pictures. But did you go trick-or-treating? Did you take the I, trip? I did. I did. I walked, I walked the doors. Uh, you know, we done the whole, uh, we went to the trunk or tree. The trunk or tree. Yeah. Right. And I like those. I sure. think those are good. They're safe. Yes. Uh, but man, it just kind of takes the feel out of Halloween, yeah, you know? I, I mean, know. I like walking through a the neighborhood. And there you go. The door, I you know? agree with you. Hiding in the weeds. And yeah. Scaring, scaring somebody yeah. coming by. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to have a little bit of fun. We didn't do that though. When we were growing up, it was done to us right. is the reason you're saying that. Right. Yeah. Kids head and scared, you know, scared oh, yeah, us. We never did them. anything like that when we were growing up right. so but yeah i agree with you but i do like that it gives a good safe place right, for yeah. them to go but you know you got the malls doing it now downtown doing it mm -hmm. the the church are doing it so a lot of people are doing it but here's our poll question here's the big thing we've been talking about today since last night was halloween trick right. or treat and we know that if you went or know anybody that went my my daughter angela she she took a pillow sack she took her pillowcase off her pillow, and that was her trick-or-treat bag, and she came back with a whole bag of candy. I mean, yeah. like, we've got enough candy that I really wouldn't have to buy no more candy oh, until yeah. next Halloween. Yeah. We've got so much candy. Right. So, you know, first we're going to have to get rid of that. That's one thing. Uh -huh. Not by eating it, by the way, because I've ate enough, as you can see. But 
you know, there's a lot of candy there. But here's what we've been talking about here today. And we want you to help us with this poll question. So give us your input on this, all right? But what is your favorite Halloween candy? Since everybody's got it. If you if you don't have children and you work, it's at your office today because somebody <laughs> brought it. They're trying to get rid of their kids yeah. like we're going to be trying to get rid of ours. But you know that the, with the Halloween candy phenomenon is, is going wild oh, today yeah. all over the country. So what's your favorite? Or maybe if you don't have none or you don't work or, or here or there, what was your favorite? What is your favorite Halloween candy? What did you like to get that you just love? Or nowadays, like us, we don't have to go up and knock on the door yeah. and trick or treat. But what do we swipe? Yeah. When the kids are going to bed, and we all know we do this, so don't act like we don't. When the kids are all going to bed, what are we in there digging through the okay. bag and looking for and swiping? Dave and I will give ours here in just a little bit. At the end of the show, we're going to give you ours. But we want you to tell us, write it in that box today, what is your favorite Halloween candy? And we would like to see your pictures. <laughs> yeah. If you've got pictures. Yeah. Uh, of you and your family, yeah. your kids, whatever, put them in the comments. We want yeah. to see them. If you took pictures last watching. night with your family going out, put those in the comment box. We want to see those. Get you some publicity on, on here today. Speaking of publicity, leads me right in. That was a good lead into the next thing. You know, again, we've been, we told you guys last week that over the last little bit, over the last, uh, Ten, ten shows, because that was the last, well, it was nine shows since last week was oh, the yeah. 10th. But there have been 125,000 people watch us. We want to give another shout out to you because we honestly, you don't have any idea how much we rely on you to do right. what we do. Right. First, we've got people watching us and we appreciate that. But beyond the people that are watching us live and tune into this every week, I mean, every single week, you guys are here. You show up and you listen and you laugh and you participate. You tell us what your favorite Halloween candy is. You guess our numbers, win our shirts, our bags, so on and so forth. But just from last week, I want to tell you what you guys helped us do. It was like a record week for us in our view. Yeah, in one week. You and, and you may ask, why do you watch this? Why, why do you pay so much attention to how many views you you get one we want to know if it's working right we want to know if what we're doing getting our message out in front of people is working and we could not do that without your help your likes and your shares but just from last week we've had over 12,000 people that have watched in one week in one week over 12,000 people have watched or looked at what we've put out on social media Facebook only our, our Facebook uh, live video our videos that we do daily our homes that we're posting we've had over 12,000 people see those and we could not do that without it's you guys 100% on them it's on them because we're not doing nothing but sitting here acting a fool right you guys are the ones liking and sharing our videos getting that out there we had the most people last week at one time that had ever watched us live at one time right you know and again that's because you guys are helping us so you know it's november now we've turned the page even though that we're asking you today to tell us in our poll question what your favorite halloween candy is what do you like the best what's your favorite halloween candy but we have flipped over into november the thankful month you know, right. everybody's thankful. You're going to see all kinds of posts being thankful and all that. Yeah, thankful all every that day stuff. for this and for that. Yeah. Yes, but we really sit here today and say we are so thankful that you tune in right. on a weekly basis, on a daily basis. You show up and not only show up, but you show out. Right. by what you do. So continue to help us out on that. Like and share our videos all over Facebook. Not just our Facebook lives, but our, our videos that we do daily. We've got a whole new release of videos that I just scheduled out for this month. So you're going to want to watch those daily videos. Mm -hmm. No reruns on there. we got all new ones going on. Yesterday in the office, let me tell you what we was doing yesterday in the office. We filmed for probably over two hours. It was a little bit over two yeah. hours. We filmed commercials all day yesterday in our office that's going to be spotlighting our agents. So you're going to see some of that stuff coming out, leaking out. Like and share that. Blow us up. Get us out there. We really, again, appreciate everything that you guys do for us. And we want to say thank you for that today. So our, again, our goal was to always just try to put it out there and get out in front of as many yes. people as we can. 
and it's them. Yeah. You're, you're the ones that's doing that. You're we had that no possible. idea that it would be as many people as we got in front of because of the help that we get from right. our friends, our family, our clients, our customers, our coworkers, other agents. We, we appreciate you guys doing this more than we could ever tell you. So if you've just joined, got a big crowd coming in. We got two things Bam! here. There you go again. <laughs> we got two things that's happening today. One, you're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Number 11. I'm Mike Elkins. This is Dave Elkins. As he just said, you're watching show number 11. You're now one of 137,000 people that have saw wow. our shows over the last 11 episodes. And we appreciate that. But we got a big poll question today, and we need your help. Come on, get with us on this and let us know this. But last night was Halloween. We know you've got it laying all over your house. It's at your job. It's somewhere you've in seen your Halloween. Yeah, in your pockets. <laughs> Pocket you've seen Halloween candy, whatever. But what What's your favorite? What has your what is your favorite Halloween candy? Popcorn, sucker, whatever it is. What is the favorite that you get? We're going to tell you ours here just a little bit, but we want to see what you guys like to get and take that wrapper off of and put that in your mouth. So we want to see what you guys like. We got a good show for you today. Here's what we're going to talk about right after this commercial break. By the way, put your answers in the box for us. If you would, what's your favorite Halloween candy? Put that in there. Here's what we're going to be talking about today. We've been talking about how to or why that your house will sell, how to sell them fast, so on and so forth. Today, we're going to give you five reasons that if you're trying to sell your house. We're going to talk straight to you today. Yeah, it's coming today. So we want to, to give you five reasons why your home will not sell. Right. All right. We're going to give you some good straight information today. Some things that you Bam. will want to watch. Yeah. <laughs> some things that you will want that to job. watch. I got today. a good job today. You got to do that. You're the band man today. So you will want to watch this and get this information. If you're not trying to sell your house, one day you may be trying to sell your house and you'll need this information. Or you may know somebody that is selling their house and they may need this information to help them. You're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. I'm your host, Mike Elkins, my co-host, Dave Elkins. We're going to take a short commercial break. Right on the other side of this break, we're going to come back and give you five reasons, five straight reasons why your home will not sell. Stay with us and we'll be right back on the other side of this short commercial break. Pricing your home correctly in today's real estate market can be a very frustrating task for a homeowner to do. Knowing the house value before you commit all your hard-earned money along with time and energy just makes sense. If you are thinking of selling your home, call one of the agents at Elite Realty Group today to get a free market analysis on your home. We're standing by to help you. 423-307-8566. Again, for a free market analysis on your home, call Elite Realty Group today. 423-307-8566. We look forward to assisting you. And we are back. You are watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Today, we are going to give you five reasons, five straightforward reasons Bam! why that your home will not sell. But before we get into that, we are doing a poll question and we need your help. A lot of people chiming in. Yeah, let me tell you here. Jan Smith said Snickers. Snicker bar. Uh, oh, no, that's a good one. Man. Paula's probably, she's right on mine here. Almond <laughs> Joys and Peanut Butter Kisses. Yeah. Sabrina. Uh, hold on, hold on. We may have did a bad thing here. Yeah, because I'm going to be starving. I'm enough. starving <laughs> to death right now. <laughs> yeah. Sabrina uh, says Banana Laffy Taffies. You got to love That's Laffy a good Taffy. one. Oh, absolutely. Um, absolutely. Let's see. Jesse Howard. Tootsie Rose. Jesse's over there trying to get better from kidney surgery. So, oh, or, Jesse. Uh, she had kidney stones. Gotcha. Uh, eating them Tootsie Rose. <laughs> That's right, uh, yeah. Let's see. Carissa says Reese Cups and Nerds. Oh, I'm on to that. Kim says Snickers and Heaths. Ooh. You know, I don't think I've ever had a Heath bar. A Heath bar? You've never had a Heath bar? I don't bar? think I've ever well, had Well, you bar. need to shout out to get Kim to bring you a Heath bar. Yeah, man. I don't think I've ever had yeah. a Heath bar. Yeah. Oh, you got to do that, man. They must be a classic, you know, because <laughs> yeah. if you go somewhere and get They're like classic. a Blizzard. They're classic. Get the Oreos, Snickers. They're classic. 
I've never yeah, had a They're hate classic. Car. So, again, we, we thank you guys for helping us on this. Keep giving us your answers, by the way. We're asking today in our poll question, what's your favorite Halloween candy? What just tickled you to death either when you got it la- or your kids got it last night right. or you got it when you went out trick-or-treating? What was it that you just, you just love? We're going to give you ours here Again, if you've bit. got pictures of you and your family or if yeah. you've got pictures of just your kids, please uh, yeah. put them in the comments. Them in the let, comments let us see them. We, we're going to put them in front of... 125,000 people. That's right. So we're going to let your uh, little gremlins and all that be seen by a whole lot of people. So, again, you're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. Here's some real estate info we're going to give to you today. All right? And you will want to make sure you're paying attention to this. Yeah. Because, again, this is good, straightforward info. This is info a lot of people won't tell you, but we're going to tell you. That's right. This is stuff that you need to know. Absolutely. Again, you might not need to know it right now, but you might know somebody who does. Yes. And we're going to come straight. Straight from the horse's mouth. Here's our disclaimer. We're not giving you legal advice. We're not giving you financial advice. We're not telling you to do or what not to do. We are simply offering up our advice. Opinions and advice. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you can take this if you want legal I was, advice. I was ready to say bam. Go to an attorney. I was waiting for you to finish. So let's do it here. So if you want legal advice, go to an attorney. Bam! If you want financial advice, go to a CPA. Bam! But we're just here to have a whole lot of fun today. And we thank you for tuning in. So here's the first thing, all right? Here's the first thing. If you've been watching our shows and paying attention. Nick Perky says green apple and caramel. I love you. the green Sorry apple. Sorry, Yeah, see, you're starving now. Siobhan says Reese kept Yeah, I'm watching this like They're a They're throwing for it. All right, here we go. Five reasons your home won't sell. First one. Bet you can't guess this one. First one. We have told you this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, right? Right. But the number one reason, it's cut and dry, it ain't even close. The number one reason your home will not sell is because you choose to overprice it. Bam! Got it? Got them. You choose to overprice your house. Now, again, that's something you don't want to even venture down that road. No, do not. We are seeing now more than ever these overpriced homes killing people trying to to sell. Yeah. Uh, they're, They're just hurting people so bad, again, because their home is overpriced. Right. To keep that from happening, do one of two things. There's two things you can do to solve this problem right up front. Right? Right. I was going to say bam right up front, but I didn't. <laughs> so there's two things you can do to solve this problem right up front. One, get you a realtor. All right. Have them to complete a market analysis on your home. That's going to give you an opinion of what the market says your house is worth. That's going to get you close. All right. Right. But you still got to listen to them. Number two is you can hire an actual true professional that does this on a daily basis. Yep. You can hire an appraiser right. to actually come out and appraise your house and tell you what it's worth. If, if you don't hear anything we say today... Don't overprice your house. Exactly. It'll kill you. It'll It'll kill kill you. Yeah. It will definitely make it hard. That is the number one reason that homes do not sell, especially. Yes. In the day and time that we live in now, it is the number one reason why it don't sell. So that's number one. Kim's been my bammer buddy on here. Bam. Gotcha. All right. Keep it going here. Number two. The number two reason homes don't sell is low showing availability. In other words... It's hard to show your house. Right. right. You ever experienced that? Oh, yeah. I, th- I think I said it a while back. You know, it's, it's, I don't know why. It just seems like a thing right now. Everybody, you, not everybody, but, right. you know. A you, lot. A lot. You call and yes. it's just not, a, you, the, it, it's not the agents who have it listed. It's not, if it's my listing, it's not my fault. But, man, when your sellers just say, you know, it's actually just not a good day. Right. To let anybody come look. Right. You're thinking, are you trying to sell your house or yeah, not? Yeah, I mean, you know, I could see if I was, I could see if you was wanting to go look at it at six in the morning right. or nine at nine, time. whatever bad times. Yeah. yeah, but man, when you're wanting to come look at six thirty, yeah, and they shut you down, right? It's, it's a tough. hard thing. Yeah. So that will definitely keep people. Remember, if they can't see it, they can't buy. It. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's highly unlikely they're going to. Right. right. They're they're calling wanting to come and see it. One because they probably have an interest in it. Yeah, and more than likely, I think I said this before too. But you, yours is probably not the only one picked up on the list. That's, that's they've probably scheduled two yeah. or three. 
So if you don't get into yours, boom, you are eliminated. Yeah. You, were, you remember a story last <laughs> week about us telling you about uh, Dave had a showing of three people within an hour and a half on one listing. Right. Ended up getting two offers on the listings. Mm-hmm. And it's going pending now, I'm assuming. Right. Um, so again, those things, but that house had to be available to get those people in right. at the time that they needed to get in there. Right. So, you know, again, this is five reasons, remember, why that your home will not. And if you're trying to sell it, you don't want that knot in there, right? No, no. You want it to sell. Well, that's, right. That should be the purpose. If you're just testing to yes. see what you can get, you're not real serious about no, no, selling. No. You know what I mean? No. And if you're serious, these are things that you're going to want to avoid. Right. Exactly. Don't price it too high. No. Overpricing is going to shoot you down, hurt you really bad. But, again, low showing availability, it's got to be able to be seen. Mm-hmm. That's number two. Number three, go ahead. I was going to go back to overpriced for just a yeah, minute. Go ahead. No, go back. Because uh, that is the biggest. It's the biggest by it's far. It's the biggest. But, you know, you hear people. I, I've had people whose listings that I've got and, or listings that are coming, right. I guess so to say. But, uh, uh that's one of the biggest questions. Yeah, they, I know there ain't a whole lot of inventory out there. Right, right now. They they price it higher. Yeah, let's yeah. price it up. Or yeah. anything I can get for it. Right. Okay. Yeah, the numbers might say you can get, right. you know, two hundred. You think we're off for two? For, you know, th- right. put up our two forty. Yes. We can always drop. Right. Yeah, and come down and can't go up. Right. Right. But you know, then then people they don't realize because everything you do is questioned. Yes. Uh, I feel like Bush Jones sometimes. Yeah, there's a process. We're, we're questioned here a lot. Yeah. But, you know, because they're going to say, well, wonder why they dropped it $40,000. Right. right. wonder what's wrong with it. Yes. Well, nothing. We're just getting it back down to where to sell yeah, now. Where it needs to be. Right. Right. So, okay. Sorry so, to go back to, sorry yeah. to, go back to the that. That's again. a big thing there that you got to watch out for. Again, these are reasons your home will not sell. Right. All right. Will not sell number one's overpriced, not in any particular order, but number one is oh, yeah, number overpriced. Far, yeah. but number two that we gave you, again, not in any order, is this low showing availability. It's not available. People won't get their house ready to show. Number three is is homes are very cluttered. Now let me let me tell you a little bit here about what we do. And this is not just again, but what one of the things that we do when we list homes for people, um, usually once a month, time available to do this but we do what we call property tour all right and we take all of our agents that want to go we load up in the car and we go look at some listings that we have gotten within the last month and we literally evaluate those listings right we go in and tell the listing agent hey you know this is what we see this is the good the bad the ugly the indifferent so on and so forth one of the top things that is on that list that we see a lot of times that gets complaints is you can't see the house for the clutter. Right. Now, again, you know, I'm the pot calling the kettle black here, you know, right? Right. But, you know, if you're, if you're getting your house on the market to sell, declutter that thing just a little bit, especially the kitchen, those areas like that, your counter space. The less clutter you have, the bigger it's going to seem, the bigger it is, because right. there's just absolutely more room. But again, just cluttered space, the living room, the kitchen, the di- I mean, all of that. Right. It, it, it kills what you see of the house. Remember, people are not buying your stuff. Right. They're buying the house. I'm going to tell you something. This is, this is, and it's not a bad thing. This is not a bad thing for, but you know what's a big thing? It's been going on for a while is that, uh, Coupon. Yes. Now that's big. Yes. You know, people do that and there's nothing wrong no, with that. No, it's no, very no, smart no. to do that. Yes. But I have showed numerous houses. Yes. That you have rooms or two rooms. Right. That you can't even get in because yeah. of the coupon. Now right. it impresses people. Wow. You know, I mean, that's yeah. a definitely. A I've got 47 point. rolls of toilet paper in the, yeah. in the bathroom. Right. But <laughs> you're, but I'm serious. Like the people when I was with them, they was like, I mean, we can't even get over to look at the closet in this bedroom. Right. So, uh, you know that that that's not well. A, and a it's cut, not a good thing to, I guess, have it all piled up whenever right. you're trying to sell your house. Right. It's okay to do it, but think about it once you're selling your house. Get a storage building. That's what I was going to say. A couple of weeks back, we talked about getting your house ready to sell. Mm-hmm. That should be one of the things you take care of that. Because, again, if you don't, we're giving you reasons today your house is not going to sell. Right. This is one of If they can't get in the bedroom that one of their kids are going to have to sleep in, right. there's a good chance they're not buying your house. Right. There's a good chance that that's not mm. happening. So, again, clutter. Cut the clutter. People you know? want to be able to access their house. Yes. The house that they're 
you know, buying. They're going to open cabinets. They're going to open closets. It's just going to happen. They yeah. want to see. They, they want to see it. Feel everything. Yes, because they're going to be paying the next thirty years of their life. They're going to be paying likely right for this home. So they're going to want to see it. Five reasons we're giving you today. Don't get mad at us. Don't get right? mad at us. We're, we're just, just shooting you straight yeah. here today. We're giving you the bam. Yeah, we're giving you the straight. <laughs> From the shooter's mouth yeah. here today, we're giving you that. So we've talked about, one, being overpriced, mm -hmm. two, being not being able to see it, low availability to show it, yeah. three, being it's cluttered, four, and if I was putting these in order, I'd put this as the second reason houses don't sell, by the way, but number four you'll want to write down is, is unpleasant odors. Now this is touchy. This, this is, is touchy, touchy, but now this is true. But this is big Bam! time. Bam! This is big time. Yeah, yeah. This is big time. Unpleasant odors in a home. When we go in or someone else comes in, now here, let me let me talk about my house. Okay, I'll talk about my house. My house has my family's stuff, my family's smell, my my uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid, my you know, fabric softener that my wife used. So it's got my family's smell in it. Yours has yours. Theirs has theirs. Right. But there are some times, whether that be, again, I got a doggy, I love him, he comes in the house, so on and so forth. But sometimes old bear comes in the house and bear stinks. Right. I got to do something about that. Right. right. Especially if I've got my home on the market to sell. When people walk in your house, two things happen. They form in their mind right then, right there. They form in their mind, I like what I see, or oh my goodness, what's that smell? Oh, yeah. And if there's a bad smell when you go in a house, it turns you off immediately. Got right another, then. I've got another bammer here. <laughs> we really like it. Bammed. We like it. But it turns people off immediately. Absolutely. One of the things, again, that we as agents, when we go do these walkthroughs, that's one of the big top items mm. that we say about these homes is sometimes we go in those homes and we're like, what is that smell? Mm -hmm. You know, first what impression. Is that? And we yeah. don't know what it is. Sometimes that could be mold. Sometimes we don't sometimes know what it is. But again, whether that be smoking, whether that be, um, you know, animals, whether that be mold, whether that be mildew, whatever that is, whether that just be dirty carpet, right. wet, whatever. Those are some things that, again, sometimes an air freshener. Yeah, buy some air. That's what we're getting. Yeah, at that's here. what I'm saying. Buy Not that your house stinks that it ain't going to sell. Right, but do something about it. Right, light a candle. Yes, you know, uh, Sabrina said this good point. Don't go overboard. Right, because some. On people, the other hand, some people's got like a real sensitive nose to air fresheners. Me, right here. And so, if it's in your car, or anything it. Drives them crazy. Funny story about out. that. Funny story about that. I walked yesterday. We went out after we shot our commercials yesterday. After we were shooting commercials in an office, we went out to eat. And I went in this restaurant. And, like, I opened the door to the restaurant. And they were doing these candles that you're talking about. Right. So as I went through, I was like, oh, my goodness, what in the world is that? It was this just overpowering candle. Right. On my way back out, guess how I walked out of the restaurant? <laughs> my shirt was up over my nose because it was awful. Right. You know, it was right. just too, pa it was, bam, hit you right in the face, right. you know. Yeah. It got you just real quick. So, again, you're right. Don't go overboard on yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And we will say the same thing about, you know, and I know, again, this is where you get touchy, but about smoking. Yes. It, people smoke in the house. If that's what they want to do, that's their sure, choice. absolutely. But there's people who don't like smoke. That's so right. just know that. Yeah. And again, there's where, again, a good air purifier, you know, uh, right. a candle, something's going to maybe potentially help with that. Again, we're giving you reasons today why, you know, these homes are not going to sell. So those are things, again, that you want to be on the lookout for because, again, remember when people step in your house, they're forming an opinion right then and right there about what's going on with that house. So number one's overpriced. Number two is you can't people can't get in to see it. Number three is cut your clutter down. Right. Number four is make sure you got the smell under control. Right. Again, you're probably, you know, everybody's house is probably going to need that candle lit. Yes. You know, it, for one, it gives you a homely, a homey Chocolate feel. Chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. Or something, yeah. you know. Just something to give it a fresh smell. Yes, there you, you go. Know, so don't, don't uh, stress about it too much. No. But make sure that you're aware of it. Right, right. And again, 
we're we're not saying that your house stinks or, or right. that it could or or whatever. But again, remember, someone's coming in to look at it that's kind of outside of your scope. And again, we're giving you the reasons that we see when we go out there right. and look at these houses and take people out. On the, this is what we run into. You right. would be shocked. Yeah. At what we run into sometimes, all right? And some of that will always stay behind the closed doors. But things like this right. that you may want to be aware you of. you got to put yourself in other people's shoes. And a lot of people have trouble doing that. Yes, absolutely. If you walked into a house and yeah. you thought it stunk, yeah. no matter what that smell is. Right. If right. it smells like, you know, yeah. whatever. And, and you, you may think chocolate chip cookies stink. You might think That's chocolate okay. Chocolate. Don't put a chocolate chip cookie out. Right. Just make sure your house smells good. That's what we're getting at. But that's one of the top five reasons that I'm telling you, behind price, I'd put this right up there oh, with yeah. anybody else right. yes. as why things ain't happening. Mm-hmm. Because you go in and something ain't right. Yeah. You know. So, again, those unpleasant odors, you want to help. You want to get help with those. Number five, all right? Number five is... Being just an unreasonable seller. you know, And what I mean by that is... Unwilling to do anything. Unwilling to do anything. Like, this is what it is. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm not going to price it right. Yeah. I don't care if it stinks or not. I've got clutter laying all over the house. My, They can walk over my dirty clothes. It doesn't matter to me. Right. I'm not going to let them see it this morning because I just don't want to. Doing all that we just said not to do... Just be, yeah. That's being an unreasonable seller. Mm-hmm. That's the fifth reason why, again, that your house. You don't want to negotiate. Nothing. If they get an offer. Yeah. You know, you, and you get those. You get yes. those ones that say, if they don't ask, you know, if they're not asking, if they don't offer what we're asking, I don't even want to know about it. Right. Right. Well, so, again, those are five reasons why your home may not sell. And we want you to make sure that you got that information. A lot of people, again, won't tell you this information because sometimes it's confrontational. Yeah. But you know what? We want you to know this. Bam. Because if you put your house on the market, your ultimate goal is is to get that bad boy sold. Right. Not just list it, but sell. And that that's that's, that's that should be your realtor's goal. Absolutely. Too. That's our goal when we list one. Yes. We tell people all the time, we don't list them to list them, we list them to sell That's them. exactly right. So, so we want you to know straight up. You want this information. So again, five reasons today we talked about your house won't sell. Here's the big thing though that we're talking about. We've got, we got on a rampage here uh, going off on why your house won't sell. But the bigger thing is we want to know a poll question today. A lot of people's just joined. We want to know what is your favorite Halloween candy? What is just the thing that you just love the most? Again, whether your children went out last night and got that, it's laying on your desk at work today, it's in the factory, wherever, whatever it is. What's your favorite Halloween candy? And I'm going to tell you some stuff that people said here. Yeah, too tell us So Jason Fields says candles, candles, candles. Good. He but does. not too many candles. Not too many. Yeah, not too many. Yep. Uh, Nicole says the air purifiers work great. Absolutely. And they do. Uh, yes, they do. I see here. Jesse Howard says, hide the Ouija boards. My <laughs> youngest son still won't go into what he calls the Ouija board room. When we viewed the house, there was a Ouija board in that room. He's 12, and that wow. terrified him. See that clutter? Jesse, clutter. Right. That's what, right. That's what we're talking about. Yes. Uh, Heather said she's in bad shape because her dogs are her family. But Heather, it don't it, that that don't matter. Everybody's got dogs. Yeah. My dog's mine too. Yeah. Old bear dog man. He comes in and he gets stuff all over the house. Like, yeah, because he's an outside dog that we feel sorry for and we let him in. He digs so, holes. And, and here's another thing. He eats wood. He eats wood. He <laughs> digs holes in the yard. He like rolls in the grass. You can let him outside. He'll roll, just roll in the grass. Right. But here's the other thing. The dog hates water. I mean, like, he is terrified if I get the water hose out. So, like, Bear's four years old. He probably had two or three baths his whole life, yeah. you know. So, you talking about a stinking dog, Heather? I got a stinking dog, you know. <laughs> he stinks. <laughs> Sabrina says, I think I already said this, don't go overboard with the air fresheners. Kim yes. says, pack it up. We're selling it. Yes. Chrissy Sanifer said, declutter. Get advice. Those are great. Uh, and now we're back to the candy comments. Yes. So, yeah. So let's go back to the candy. What is your favorite Halloween candy? You want to tell us that. We're seeing what everybody says. We're getting hungry, in the uh, by the way, of doing this. So, again, we've talked about a whole lot today. Let's give a quick recap before we take our last commercial break. If you've just joined us, you're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by... 
Elite Realty Group. I'm Mike Elkins, your host. This is my co-host, Dave Elkins. We're talking about what's your favorite Halloween candy poll question here today. We want you to get that. Give us that answer. Don't be afraid. We know everybody likes candy. Give us your answer. I really thought that. somebody would post a picture of their kids here. Yeah, somebody throw us a picture out there of your children or your family, you out trick-or-treating. We have a, gave a big thank you to all of you that are watching. Is We broke last week over 12,000 people in one week one week watching our videos watching our stuff that we put out there over the week we couldn't do this without you we're in the november thankful month so we just wanted to say a big thank you and we gave that out earlier but continue to like and share our video across facebook get that out there let a lot of people see it we're going to take a quick commercial break we're going to come back we're going to look at all of our answers about the candy and so on and so forth we're going to reveal our Number one Halloween candy that we like. I don't think it'll let people post pictures. Okay. The code says you can't, so I don't think it'll let you. Okay, maybe you can't. Post your pictures. Yeah, My send them five. today. We don't know nothing about live. Yeah, we we don't, we're just having fun here trying to get you to send yeah, us a picture. That's lie. all. So, again, uh, we're coming back on the other side of this break, giving you what's going on in the area, telling you about our elite realty group, which you won't want to miss. The Elite Realty Group Home of the Week coming right back, and we're talking about some candy when we come back. Stay tuned. We will be right back on the other side of this commercial break. You're watching Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live, presented by Elite Realty Group. We'll be right back. Are you a real estate agent in the Lakeway area looking to take your business to the next level? If so, Elite Realty Group in Morristown, Tennessee is the place for you. We pride ourselves on agent support through training, teaching, and coaching, giving our agents the knowledge to be the best they can be. You owe it to yourself to explore this opportunity to see what awaits for you. Your success is at your fingertips. For a confidential meeting, call or text me today. Michael Elkins at Elite Realty Group, 423-748-5327. I look forward to answering your questions and assisting you on your journey to the top. We caught you. <laughs> he did not. We caught you with your hand yeah. in the cookie jar, in the candy jar, though. I've got some in my pockets. You know, just some good stuff going on I'm here. I'm eating them. I ain't we're, we're, I'm eating. we're having our, you know, some of our favorites that we've got here today, having a good time. What what is you got a whole mouthful? You can't even talk. Can talk. Like you can't even bring. You can't bam right now if you needed to. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> So again, welcome back. Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. I'm Mike Elkins, your host. This is Dave Elkins eating candy. He's of no use right now. No good for nothing at this at this current moment. He couldn't talk to us if he wanted to. We're asking you today. We're asking you today. What's your favorite Halloween Man, candy? Twix. I think that's... Bring the Foxes the almost said Twix. Man, Bring it on the Twix. Good. I like the Twix. Bring those on. All right. What's your favorite Halloween candy? Put that in the box. Thank you for watching. Like and share our video. Get it out all across Facebook. But before we do let you go today, I got to take the candy jar away. Before we do let you go today, we're going to turn it over. Oh man, I about forgot to about the this. candy man himself. So he I was see stealing it. candy when he came back. We're going to turn it over to you, and we're going to first give you the Elite Realty Group home of the week. I'm going to turn it over to you. Nice, nice home. You tell them about this house. All right, here we go. This one is listed uh, by Kim Roberts, and the address is 7567 St. Clair Road. This is a three-bedroom, two-bath house. It's on 1.50 acres, uh, 1,620 square feet. Uh, I'm going to read here what it says. This is a wonderful house for the money. 1.5 acres, country setting. It is a beautiful setting. I know exactly where the house is at. Hardwood yes. floors and main level garage are just some of the features you will love. The basement needs some work. Bids for treatments are under $9,000. This home needs to be cash, a conventional loan, or a 203K. Now, there's some old issues in the basement, but the house is priced 
you know, accordingly. Right. So that's uh, all taken into consideration. That's all taken into consideration. Yes. It's sure. priced at one twenty five. Right. Uh, again, one and a half acres, sixteen hundred twenty square feet. Uh, the basement is plumbed for a um, for a bath? bathroom. Right. The bathroom has a fire pl- or the bathroom. The downstairs yeah, has yeah, yeah. <laughs> fireplace in the bathroom. How many times have you seen that? That's right. No, it don't have a fireplace in the bathroom. Gotcha. It's got one upstairs and it does have one downstairs. Oh, okay. So And again it's a great area. Again, listed by Kim Roberts. Yeah, great area. It's in the Whitesburg School District, East Ridge, uh, East Ridge and then East, East High. High. Yep. So uh it's so that's seventy five sixty seven St. Clair Road, Whitesburg, listed by Kim Roberts. Her cell phone number is four two three. Three one two eight two five one. So as Kim she's says, standing by. Call me. Call me right Let's now. talk. Yeah. So you'll see that coming up on a commercial. Yeah, that's right. That Kim broke loose and come out of. So again, you just saw the Lakeway or the Elite Realty Group Home of the Week. If you are interested in having your home featured as the Elite Realty Group Home of the Week, be sure to give us a call, and we will explain to you what you have to do to get your home featured as the Elite Realty Group Home of the Week. On our show, so what's going on in the area? What's I happening see here? here? Uh, area wise, we got a hey, I'm on this camera. Yeah, we got a meet the. I got something on my screen here. What is that? We got a meet the candidates cookout. Now that's mm. over there in uh, Granger, it's done by the Granger County Women's Republican Women. <laughs> Or something like that. <laughs> I got stuff popping up all you over You got stuff screen. all over Where your screen coming up. Bam! It's just Bam, going crazy. every time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's a bunch of senators. Uh, Mark Green, Frank Nicely, Jerry Sexton. Uh, he's a representative. And mm-hmm. May Beavers. Plus, guess who's going to be there? I couldn't tell you. The Hillbilly Bones is oh. going to be there singing. Entertainment. Yeah, so it's $10. Gotcha. That's, uh, hold on, when is that? Six to eight on... Yeah. Thursday. Thursday. Tomorrow. November yeah. the 2nd at right, Granger me, High School. Uh, there was, oh, there was one more thing here. There is a peel operation medicine bottle. And this is pretty cool. This is really cool. Yeah. yeah. You really should pay attention to this right yeah, here because so this is good stuff. This is Saturday, November the 4th from 10 to 2, operation medicine bottle. Yeah. It's a medication disposal event hosted by Hamlin County Substance Abuse Coalition. Uh, it'll be held at the East End Walmart. They take unused or expired prescriptions or over-the-counter medicines. Even. Gotcha. So, uh, Siobhan, she puts all of our unused medicine in a big Ziploc bag, uh-huh. and we keep it up in the uh, up in the cabinet. Right. So if if our house ever does get raided, they're going to think we're drug dealers for sure because we've right. got like Ziploc bags full of medicine up yeah. here. Prior to get rid of that, Siobhan, you're yeah. watching. Take that, well, it she keeps it, it for this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, so gotcha. I, but we store it in the yeah. meantime. I so, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, they won't accept, they only accept pills. They won't accept needles or right. liquids. Right. So. Absolutely. So. Uh, let's see here now. Football wise, man, you know, of course, with us. Season's the, over. Yeah. Um, Except for. Yeah, Morristown, Morristown East, East yeah. is going to Sevier County. Playoffs. This is Friday playoffs, yeah. yeah. Playoffs. Friday at 7 o'clock, and Granger County goes to Anderson County mm-hmm. at 7 o'clock. Yep. Uh, that's all we think that's local that's in the playoffs. Right, right. Uh, and I know, I think it's uh, starting maybe Thursday. I, I think oh, yeah, Thursday, basketball. The Hamlin County Lions Club Elementary Tournament is going on at Manly. I know I'm going to give a shout-out because my daughter will like this. Shout-out to the Russellville Hornets. They play and cheer on Friday evening. Right. I know we're going there. So I'm sure a school, maybe a school that you're watching, they may be playing before that. Go watch them, little kid. Man, they're good. Yeah. They're good at what yeah. they do. So go hang out and watch them, but you'll really like that. Now, so, basketball season, college, of course, you know, our, the college basketball yes. season is really getting underway. So Carson Newman yes. here in Jefferson City. Goes to the University of Knoxville. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. When's that? That is tomorrow? Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, well, 7 o'clock. Okay. So, get that. Watch that. Of course, our football vols, you know, yes. we're Kentucky beat us. It's you know, okay. I mean, we're, it's all right. We're doing good. Yeah. Southern Miss, 730? Seven, uh, 730. 730, yeah. yeah. SEC Network. Charlie Saturday Brooks. Night. Charlie, Charlie Brooks, Brooks will be bringing your shirts bringing to you. shirts, and we're going to make sure we get a video That's of when right. Charlie gets these because right. we know he's going to love them. Oh, he'll go excited. So he'll we will excited. have the video yeah. of Charlie getting his shirt yeah. next, and you won't want to miss. You do not want to miss. Charlie, that. he's a yeah. good guy. Yeah, he you gets You won't want to miss the video gonna... of him 
getting his shirt next week from us. Our poll question today was, what's your favorite? Got any more in? What's your favorite Halloween candy? So, I, so I'm going to put you on the spot first. You did, You said you didn't, you never eat a Heath, so we know it ain't that. Yeah. But so what's your favorite Halloween candy? What's like the favorite you get? You know, I guess it's the same as every other candy. I guess I mean I'm I'm definitely a Reese Cup guy, big time. And now if I get a Blizzard, it's got to be a Reese Cup yeah, Blizzard. I'm a Reese Cup and I'm an Almond Joy. So Almond Joy, yeah. Big uh, time. Ariana, she will not be able to eat any Reese Cups, Cups or Almond or Joys. Almond Joy. yes, nobody gave them out. Right. That's what I'm gonna tell her. Right. She's well, four. she don't. Mine is I've went through already. I've went through. I've got two that is just my favorites. And I've done went through and rated my kids candy because M and M's and it's got to be peanut. Oh yeah, got to be I peanut M like and M's, peanut M and M's, and Snicker bars right up my alley. Now that's just candy, you know. That's just like I'm gonna need a pack of candy. But again, you can look at me and see they ain't much candy I don't like. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not a very picky person. I just never eat a Heath bar. I might go get a Heath bar. We're gonna get you a Heath bar, and you're gonna give us a report on what you thought about a Heath bar next week. What is it? Huh? You just have to eat it and see. <laughs> so, hey, we appreciate you guys today for tuning in and watching. We know we've rambled on and went a long time. Still got a big crowd today. Like us up right here at the end. Blow us up. Love us up. Yeah. Laugh at us. Get all that good stuff. Like and share our video on Facebook. It is show number 11. It is November the 1st. We are chugging right along through these shows and through this year. And we want to say today we appreciate you guys for taking your time, your lunch hour, watching us today. And hopefully the information we get gave you about five reasons your home will not sell. If you know somebody trying to sell their home, tell them. Tell Give them this them information. This information. Yeah. Like and share our video out on Facebook. Again, we'll be back with you next Wednesday, 12 noon, and every Wednesday here thereafter. 12 noon, we'll be back again to give you another episode of Lakeway Area Real Estate Talk Live presented by Elite Realty Group. We hope that you've had a great day. I'm even we hope until we see you again, you will have many, many great days and everything, especially the candy that you want, you're going to receive that. Until next Wednesday at noon, we will say God bless you and over and out.